this model here, uh, I'll just orientate you, this is the tongue and so in the oral cavity here, okay, uh, we have the hyoid bone here, the trachea here, the larynx is across here, that's the thyroid cartilage, okay, if we, this is the thyroid gland, which we haven't talked about much, and if we basically turn it around, what we have is the uh, superior horn of the thyroid cartilage, the arytenoids here, and the cricoids there. So this here, this is the epiglottis, and it's now covered by the, uh, by the um, uh, mucosa. So this is the epiglottic fold, okay, coming down there. Now, I'll try and see if we can get you to actually see inside here. So this is what we were looking at before, okay? If we were to put a camera down here, what we should be able to see, can you see this little white bit down here? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay, so that white bit down there, that represents the vocal folds, okay? I reckon uh, that's the vocal folds that you'll be seeing. And just above it, if I just maneuver myself so I can see, there we go. Can you see that little bit there? Okay, so a little bit above the vocal folds. Got it? Not yet? Can you see that? I'll just give you a second just to get into position so you can actually see the bit I'm looking at. Yep, so that there... That is the vestibular folds, okay, or the false vocal cords. Okay, so you've got the two of them, that and the white bit, okay, are the uh, are what you would see if you were to put a camera down here. So that's what we've seen so far, and that's kind of uh, where we're up to. There's just two little bits that I want to add on here, okay, which are this, okay. Um, there's uh, our hyoepiglottic fold was down here, our hyoepiglottic ligament, sorry. Um, membrane is now covered by mucosa, okay, and that mucosa forms a fold called the glosso, okay, tongue, the glosso epiglottic fold, okay, and with it there's uh, two lateral, uh, there's a median and two lateral glosso epiglottic folds. Can you see them? Okay, so that's the lateral there, and that's the median there, okay, and it forms these little valleys, okay, these valleys, okay, are uh, called the valleculi, and valleculi just means valley. Uh, great little area, because hopefully if you're doing your dental procedure, and uh, you're trying to uh, fill up a, uh, you know, a, uh, an upper, uh, an upper right seven or something like that with a, uh, with uh, a nice little occlusal amalgam, and then you, uh, you um, uh, unfortunately drop it, and it goes uh, straight down the patient's throat, and they inhale it, you can hopefully... Uh, with them a little bit sedated or, or asleep, get, uh, get a camera in. Fingers crossed it hasn't gone all the way down uh, the larynx into the respiratory tract, and it's hopefully just sitting in the vellicula, and you can just basically uh, take, your, um, uh, take your camera out and pretend that nothing happened, okay? Um, <clears throat> and hope that you don't get sued. <laughs> the other area that I'll uh, the other area that I'll show you is this little recess down here. Okay, this is called the piriform recess, which means pear shaped. Okay, so it's shaped a little bit like a pear drop sweet. Okay, so this is a common place that we uh, that we sometimes find that if somebody inhales a foreign body like maybe a fishbone or something like that, um, it might get stuck just about here. Again, they can, of course, go down into the, um, uh, into the larynx and down into the respiratory tract, in which case you might need a bronchoscopy uh, or some such to, uh, to get them out. But hopefully, you can just, if it's stuck there, you can just reach in, grab it, get it out, and that's the end of the procedure. Uh, jobs are good. All right? So hopefully, what we now have is a fairly clear idea of how the, um, how the larynx is structured. In our next video, we'll uh, start talking about the, uh, the blood supply and the nerve supply and, uh, and, and some of the clinical anatomy of the, uh, of the larynx. So for now, uh, that covers us. Hopefully that helps.